demo of a small tool that I'm currently working on. It's called GitLab CLI. And the basic reason why I wrote this tool is to work with issues, the issues for projects hosted on GitLab direct, uh, directly from the command line. For bite-sized issues, for, the, for trivial issues, I mean like uh, a small mis misspelling or uh, bite-sized, general bite-sized bugs, it feels too much to go to the browser and open, navigate to the issues page and then create an issue and then navigate to assign to, and then assign the issue to some user. It's too much work compared to the issue itself actually, sometimes, okay, not always. There are issues for which you need to write elaborate descriptions and have elaborate discussions. Currently, I'm not targeting those issues. Uh, at least that's not what I had in mind while I started working on it. So this tool is written in uh, Go and it's very easy to generate cross-platform executables uh, for programs written in Go. And there are binaries available for GitLab CLI, this tool, in, for each of OS X, Windows and Linux. Uh, instruction for in instructions for installation are available on the home page which you can find in the description below so let's get started the current version installed on my machine is gitlab cli version 0.1.1 i just pushed it uh, pushed this version today Uh, it shows uh, the available commands and members issues labels uh, so we'll just check out the mem members of the current project there's a single member for this project this is a demo project that I've created uh, for working on this uh, very uh, demo uh, let's see what the git URL is, the re remote repository URL is So this is what it uses as uh, the remote project identifier and using uh, whatever work it's doing, it will do on this project. So for instance, I'll, I'll just go ahead and work with uh, show the working with issues. I'll check out what issues are there existing for this project. Currently there are no issues. What else can I do with issues? The help on issues shows that I can list, create, delete, close, reopen, assign, and add label to issues. Uh, so let's create an issue. It has created an issue. The issue ID is one. Uh, let's just run the list of, you know, let's just take the list of issues again. So the issue is listed here. There are two IDs listed. This is the project specific ID. This is the global ID. Mostly you can just work with the project specific IDs. It's easier to remember and it's easier to discuss with your fellow co-workers about this. As you can see, that uh, it is not yet assigned to any user and uh, it doesn't have any label against it. Uh, we already saw that uh, there's one user to this project, one member to this project called uh, the, I'll show it again. The username is Shank. So let's say if, uh, what can I do? How can I assign an issue to the user? I can assign. So I'll check out the help on assign. To assign, GitLab issues assign to an assignee with the issue IDs. The assignee's username. The username was, the username as you can see here is Shank. So I'll just assign it to myself. The issue ID was one, the project specific issue ID. So this should assign the issue to me. It displays a message that issue number one assigned to Shank. Let's see, let's list the issues again. Yeah, it's assigned to me. Now I'll just close this issue. I'll check out the help on it. Uh, GitLab issues close the, uh, the issue ID. Issue ID is one. So I'll just go ahead and the 
its issue is closed. Okay, it's a bug. I'll <laughs> work on it. Should be closed. And um, let's see the issue list of issues again. Yeah, status is closed. Another thing, uh, I'll create another issue to demo uh, how we can check out uh, issues that are either open or closed. As you work on a project, there'll be a lot many issues that are closed, so it makes no. Often it's not very useful to check out the list of closed issues. The, the list here would be full of uh, issues that are already closed and you'll want to concentrate on the open issues. So I'll create another issue to demo this. Uh, with the minus a, minus a shank, uh, I have assigned this issue while creating it to myself. I'll check out the list of issues. So this issue, this issue got assigned to me because I used the minus a flag and while creating this issue. As you can see, the status of the new issue, second issue is open and the first issue is closed. Uh, what if I want to see only the open issues? I can do that. Uh, let's check out the help on the list command for issues. The help tells me that I can use a minus o flag or minus c flag to list only open issues or closed issues. This should list only the open issues. It does. This is the only open issue. Close issues, it's minus C. So that's it. I'm working on this tool and I'll continue adding features to it, by the way. And please do provide your feedback and feature requests as required. Thanks.